Hey guys, so it's April again, and today I am going to show you how you can tidy your room. Not quite, you see. I need to tidy my room, okay? It's a bit of a mess. So I thought I could do a video on me tidying my room and give you lots of tips and tricks on how to do it yourself because some people just can't get the hang of it. <sighs> As you can see, my room's quite a state. It's, it's pretty embarrassing, um, or embarrassing, 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 how do you say embarrassing? So anyway, let's get started. This is how I tidy my room and my tips and tricks. Number one, make yourself a cup of tea. Makes things a lot happier when you've got a cup of tea to drink while you're doing it. So first I like to tidy my bed. Okay, and anything that's on it, like cups or glasses or whatever, take off the bed and tidy my bed up. Makes things a lot nicer. Secondly, I like to um, tidy my floor. Okay, so any clothes go in, go in the wash, like a wash basket or laundry bag, whatever you put your wash in normally. And um, so I do that. And anything else that's on the floor, I try and put away. So hopefully the floor's nice and clean, so it's easier to navigate around the room while you're tidying everything else. That just makes things a lot happier. While I'm doing all this, I like to listen to YouTube, okay? Um, I don't like to watch YouTube videos because it's a bit distracting. Um, the main person I tend to, watch, to listen to is Bee Buster, okay? Because um, he tells stories, okay? So you don't need to watch, you just need to listen. And it's nice because I, I don't... I like music, but I don't always... It doesn't quite help the whole situation. It doesn't make it very fun. For me okay I'll leave a I'll leave a list in the description of people I like to listen to while I'm tidying my room okay this listening to it makes it makes things a bit more fun you know listening to a story etc right guys so I have done my bed kind of I've sat on it a few times and put things on it a few times so it's a bit messed up also I've done my floor as you can tell although since that the rug's been pressed up against there for a while it's kind of Gone a bit funny, but it'll sort itself self out eventually. Um, so I think I did a pretty good job on my floor. Um, if you get to this stage, you will notice that the room looks already a hell of a lot tidier. Even if your desks are a mess like me, it still looks a hell of a lot better. Okay, just tidying your floor makes a hell of a world of difference. It's also a lot easier to walk around and navigate. So after that, any cups or glasses in my room or plates or cutlery or whatever in my room that of course shouldn't be in my room, apart from the thing that I'm drinking out of, then um, I tend to take into the kitchen, clean and put, put away. That just makes the room cleaner and it's you're not trying to clean around it and also the thing you're doing.
Then I go to each and every surface in the room and tidy it, okay? So putting everything away that should be in its place. Any rubbish goes straight in the bin, okay? everything's tidied I want to go around the surfaces again I uh, get a sponge with soap and like soapy water or whatever and clean each and every surface okay so it's all nice and clean okay I'll pick I'll move all the stuff about so I can clean where it was and put it all back any anything that looks dirty like my fridge my little bar fridge thing in my corner that gets dusty so I'll you know, to stuff it, etc. Okay. Sometimes it's also good to open your window while you're cleaning just to let some fresh air in and also surfaces dry quicker and things like that. It's not looking too bad so far. It's a bit blurry. <laughs> Once I think all of the rubbish is out of my room I also take the bin line out and take it to the bins and get rid of it and put a fresh new liner in because it's still it's disgusting looking at an overflowing bin liner. I mean bin, bin. It's awful, okay? After I've done all this and it's all nice and spotless and clean and tidy, I then hoover. I hate hoovering, ask anyone. Like, I don't know why, but I've grown up with this fear of hoovers, but I can just about stand it, just so my floor can be clean and tidy. I really should hoover more often, but there you go. I do it when I'm tidying the rest of the room. My main tips is when you put things down, put them back away straight away once you've eaten something in a packet or a wrapper, don't put it on the side, put it straight in the bin etc and then it avoids it all getting in this state but of course none of us seem to do that, I don't know why, 
but we always seem to just leave things until the next day and it all piles up. I don't know, as us humans we tend to naturally do that for some reason, okay? So these are my tips, they're my tips and how I do things. Thank you very much for watching guys, please like the video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment below to let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching guys, bye.